Our location today takes us to a growing town with deep Texas roots and southern hospitality, named the best historic small town in the nation. Welcome to Granberry, y'all. Just 35 miles southwest of Dallas-Fort Worth, this charming downtown may be small in size, but is rich in Texas history and has a wide variety of activities that the whole entire family can enjoy. Well, the day is still young, so let's get started. So for our first stop, the beautiful and scenic Lake Granberry City Beach. Located blocks away from the hub of Granberry, it's a lively water spot with a beachy feel the whole family can enjoy. So to show us around, we met with the city's director, Tammy Dooley. How would you describe Granberry? Granberry is actually a haven. Everybody who comes here loves it. Our biggest problem is they come to visit and they stay. <laughs> and we love that. Yeah. But we do. Um, Granberry is a tourist destination and it's an experience destination. Yeah. People come here for the experience. If you have one day to explore, what would you do? What would you recommend? So much to recommend, but of course first would be our lake. Here we are located on beautiful Lake Granberry. Yeah. Also, we have a fabulous historical downtown with dining, shopping, attractions, entertainment. All right. So you can't miss any of that. And then you will find all of the people you'll meet while you're here are wonderful, warming, and welcoming. And that really is part of the experience you'll see. Yeah. Everyone here loves Granberry and they're happy that you're here and they'll make you feel that way. You gave us so much to do already, and so we have a great list. If you don't mind, just showing us the way for one of the things we should do. Absolutely, and we're going to take you on Granberry's trolley. Best way to see a town, right? Best way. All right, I'm excited. The trolley is a one hour total tour okay. around Granberry, but it comes back to the starting point every 30 minutes. So you, you never have to stay on an hour unless you want to. Right. It goes to all of our historic bed and breakfast, some of our great hotel properties. It also stops at our Memorial Lane, which everyone has to see. Um, a lot of attractions and it takes you back downtown for dining and shopping. Awesome. Do we need dollar bills? Does it take cash? Does it take credit? You're going to love this, Erin. It's free. <laughs> Even better. I'm better. I know. Forget Uber. Forget <laughs> all yes. those ride shares. This is the way to go. This is the way to go. And kids love the trolley. Yeah. And so it, it is a fun thing. I mean, families, you know, can come down, ride the trolley, spend an hour or two, yeah. and it's all free. Once you step foot onto the square, there's numerous options to choose from, but there's one building that catches the eye almost immediately, and it just so happens to be the most historic structure on the block. We made it to the historic Courthouse Square, Perfect. which is the first courthouse square to make it on the National Register of Historic Places. Wonderful. And the really neat thing and interesting thing is as the sky changes and the weather changes, the yeah. courthouse is different shades of colors oh. and everybody loves it. It's probably the most photographed focal point in the city. Welcome to the new Granberry Live. We do approximately 120 musical performances here a year wow. with the top-notch entertainment from all over the country. About 25% of the people that come, of course, are locals, but everybody else right. comes from all over Texas to huh. spend a weekend here, and they always make New Granbury Live part of their weekend getaway, along with the Opera House. And so it's a two-day minimum trip to come and stay here Absolutely. and see the entertainment. Another popular spot in town, the Opera House. Originally built in 1886, this theater was once a saloon, supermarket, movie theater, and after major restorations and renovations, is now the crown jewel of Granberry's art scene. So to learn more about the venue, the company's president, Mickey, joins us. We're very proud of it. Yeah. Uh, we, we really think we're in one of the nicest uh, ven small town venues, especially. Right. Uh, but uh, the city of Granbury bought the property back in uh, the mid 2000s. And in 2011, the Opera House closed for two years. And they did a, a $4 million renovation wow. uh, uh, to, the, to the building. Again, it was completely gutted and, uh, and put back as close to the original 
uh, you know, architecture and everything. Right. These seats actually that you see, uh, most of these seats are the original seat backs oh. and, and arms from the original seats that were in here. Okay. Uh, and so they really try to keep that historic feel right. and connection, uh, but it is a state-of-the-art venue with uh, lighting and, and sound. It seems like every seat here is one of the best seats in the house. Yes, every seat <laughs> is a good seat. We seat 270 uh, uh, in this building, and uh, so it is very intimate. If you're sitting uh, in the in the first row, you're literally, uh, you know, at times you can be two, no more than three feet from the action that's going on on the yeah. stage. Uh, every weekend we have people come in to shows that uh, are just blown away. From entertainment to shopping, Red on the Square is a shopaholic's dream. It's a fun boutique with a variety of contemporary clothing and stylish accessories. Now I could always use a pair of earrings like this. Give me some color. <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas, right? <laughs> what about the little ones? Well, Red's got you covered with an entire section filled with traditional toys and colorful threads. All right, so when traveling and exploring new places, I'd say food is a pretty high priority. So we found a place here in Granbury that satisfies a little bit of that savory and sweet cravings that you may have. It's called Nutshell Eatery and Bakery. If you're in Granbury, you gotta eat at the Nutshell Eatery. The building itself tells a story going all the way back to the assassination of Abe Lincoln. But it's also known for its yummy sandwiches and homemade baked goods. Stay right where you are. Our time in Granbury continues when Yellow Texas walks for wine. And lots of it. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Yellow, Texas, where we are exploring the charming small town of Granbury, the most historic small town in the nation. And next on our visit, the Panhandle, located right on the square. It smells wonderful in here. Right when you walk in, the aroma that surrounds you is sure to put you in the mood to whip up something delicious. From pots and pans to cookie cutters, coffee, and decorative items, the Panhandle is sure to be your new favorite for all your culinary needs. So this is basically Yolo, Texas in a nutshell. Bless your heart. <laughs> Hey y'all. The Panhandle has been serving the Granberry community since the early 90s and the secret ingredient found in store has got to be their craft coffees and gourmet teas imported from around the world. Sweet chocolate orange. That smells so bomb. Holy moly. Can you imagine waking up to that coffee? All right, we're having such a good time here in Granbury, Texas. And believe it or not, our time here is only beginning because we came at the perfect time of the year. It's for their annual walk and wine tour that's been going on for years and years and years. And this happens to be our first time out here. So, you know, I'm definitely excited. So let's make our way around. Granberry's historic downtown square is more than just shops and dining. It's also host to a number of events throughout the year, including their annual wine walk. Need I say more? So to share more about the event, we met with Tim. Wine walk. Two things that I can get behind. Okay, it's good. Definitely good. <laughs> easy for me to do. So okay. how does it all work? It sounds too good to be true. Okay, so <laughs> 10 years ago, a bunch of folks came together and we said, we want to do a really special festival in Granbury, something different they've never seen before. And we came up with this wine walk concept. Yeah. So what we do is we have four different clusters of booths. And each one of those clusters have art booths, food booths, wine, and music. Okay. Yeah, so when you come get your ticket, you're gonna get a ticket, it's got 15 different tastings on it. You get to go to any one of the wineries, give them one of the stubs, get a taste of that wine. And we have wineries, it's 22 different wineries, they're all from across the state. A lot in North Texas, but from, really from across the state. So you get to try some wineries that you've probably never heard of yeah, before. And right. it really is to feature 
everything Texas based. So nothing here is from outside the state of Texas. It's all Texas wines, food, music, and art. That is true to our show, YOLO yeah. Texas. Awesome. We love to highlight everything. You only everything. live once. Right, exactly, <laughs> there you go. My next question is where do I start? Where do I get my glass? How does that all oh, work? Oh, nice, okay. So when you get here, you'll come to the ticket booth uh -huh. and uh, we'll check you in. We give you a commemorative glass. Uh, we give you a wristband, let you know that you're legal, <laughs> and you get the ticket with the 15 tasting. So once you yeah. check in at the booth, you take your glass and your ticket and you start walking the event. Uh, there's a map there so you can start t checking out all the wineries. They'll show you what they have and then you'll get to pick one, you get to try it. You can buy it right there at the booth if you want a bottle of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we also have a great feature where most wine festivals, when you purchase a bunch of bottles, uh, you have to lug them around with you. Right. Well here, we have a voucher system. So when you purchase the bottle at the winery booth, uh -huh. they'll give you a voucher. So when they're ready to go home, they go to the wine warehouse, they turn in the vouchers, they pick up their wine and they go home. How perfect. Yeah, so it, it gives you a chance <laughs> to enjoy all the wine. You don't have to lug around a bunch of bottles. And to be honest, it's one of the few, I, I think we may be the only festival that does it like that. With tickets in one hand, glass in the other, it was time for Yellow Texas to experience the wine walk for ourselves. Come wine with us. Come to Granbury, Texas and come wine with us. What better way to start than by trying out a local wine by Barking Rocks Winery. Uh, the wine we're proudest of today is a 2015 Merlot. 2015 was a great year in Texas, so we made some fabulous wines. Yeah. I want you to try it. Yeah. So we get we got these grapes from the High Plains, which is uh, south and west of Lubbock. Mm -hmm. So some of our nicest Appalachians uh, in that part of the country because it's cool at night and wine grapes just love cool weather. So do I. Yeah, and it so. goes down too smooth actually. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> very nice. That's a great Merlot. So this is our, our dry Blanc du Bois. We grow it in Santa Fe, Texas, it's right behind our vineyard. And uh, we produced a double gold winning medal in San Francisco this year, and also won nine medals at Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Well, we're proud of that. Absolutely, and you should be, because this is delightful. This is very refreshing. Okay, sparkling almond. Okay, awesome, right, awesome. thank you, yay. Yeah. Yeah. This is the best for the sunny day, the heat. This is the perfect one. With over 20 wineries on site, you are sure to find a new favorite. But the Granberry Wine Walk is more than just that. Visitors can listen to live entertainment, mingle with the wine creators themselves, and chat with every vendor and cheesemaker too. All right, we told we were supposed to come over here yeah, because well, you have the best cheese. Yep. The one that you're trying right now is our Granberry Gold. It's a young Gouda handmade raw milk cheese. This is delicious Thank you very and much. it goes really well with the wine that I'm drinking. Don't go away, more from Granberry's Wine Walk on Yolo, Texas. Welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are sipping and strolling down Granberry's historic town square for their annual wine walk. Over 200 volunteers, 20 wineries, and 15 tastings of Texas's finest wines. Besitos de Chocolate, Little Chocolate Kisses. Ooh. This is, uh, it has natural flavors of chocolate and strawberry. It's great wine. Holy smokes, that's delicious. Thank you. That is really tasty. That is a great dessert wine. The one we poured the most of today. The most of that. And you're gonna pour one more. <laughs> we have more. <laughs> that is delicious. Now that our glasses were empty, it was time to fill our bellies. And with Granberry After Dark just beginning, we knew just the place to sit and eat. All right, so Farina's is actually a friend of ours here on Yellow Texas, and after a day like today. I think I hear a spaghetti pizza calling our name. Let's go. Farina's is no stranger to Yellow Texas after a brief visit in Grapevine. A second location has established itself in Granberry and it's truly a place where friends meet. Lunch and dinner are served daily with fantastic happy hour specials, an extensive wine selection, and of course, cannot forget that spaghetti pizza. Spaghetti pizza, y'all. 
After a fantastic day sipping, savoring, strolling, and shopping, it was time for Yellow Texas to call it a night. So if you're needing to hit refresh and reconnect, restore yourself in Granberry. It's the perfect escape, offering a little something for every taste. For more information on the places we visited today, go to visitgranberry.com.